looking to uh, buy this Craig Smith 32 liter. Uh, I was looking online for views and how much it could hold because I was back and forth between that and the bigger one. And uh, decided to go with this one and I'm very happy. I just wanted to kind of show how much it actually did hold uh, for like your normal trip. And I've got a bunch of stuff that um, for all sorts of different trips as well as uh, it's amazing for planes it'll when you pack it up it'll fit right under the seat in front of you so great airport bag amazing um, but yeah I'll just kind of show you how much it fits how I get it all in there and um, why I like it so much so we have the uh, 70 meter rope uh, got some backup webbing uh, the gris gris two gris gris ATC's uh, cordelette backup beaners everything you could need um, we've got a uh, rack of cams, got Metolius and a black diamond, got random assortment of nuts, got quick draws for sport, got about 15, got about like 18, 20 total with slings and long um, quick draws, have stuff for like Jack's Canyon, have all sorts of stuff. So, uh, And then just some assorted hexes and tri cams, got shoes, got some aid climbing stuff, and then harnesses chalk bags so I'll just kind of show how it all fits in there and then uh, if we can fit anything else Two helmets, water bottle, got a guidebook, and a first aid kit. So that's kind of all the extra stuff on the outside, and then um, got it loaded up. I love these straps. These straps are like sturdy double overed webbing, so I mean, they're not gonna snap. You're gonna rip it off the backpack before that happens, but they're stitched solid, so you'll never have an issue. I like to hold on to this strap and the back strap to pack it down, and that gets everything kind of packed to the bottom. This bag is sturdy, so I'll get out. I mean, you'll hold everything you need, um, but the straps are fantastic. It does have straps on the bottom as well. You've got a full one. You've got two little smaller ones here. Same thing up here, you've got two smaller ones and a big one. And then that, um, you've got the two side pockets. In the very top, you do have a place for snacks, phone. It does have a little clip here so you can clip some keys onto it. It's nothing gigantic, but it's definitely very helpful if you need to keep stuff at the bottom um, or at the top accessible with everything. And then the uh, the other great thing is because you do have this top entry, and like I was saying, the airport, it's a really great bag because you can stuff stuff in here, but then if you get to where you need to take out your laptop or whatever, you can just put it over on its side, unzip it, and have access to everything right there. So it's it's a great bag. It's It's been super useful in multiple situations. Um, it does have this... For the hydration, it has a little hydration thing, has the hole for the hydration pouch. You can fit whatever. I put a laptop in there when I was flying or guidebooks if you need to, maps. As far as kind of the bag, I was just kind of showing you how much you can fit in and not have to worry about anything. Personally, I like to pack everything in one bag just for traveling purposes. When I pack my car, we're usually camping the same time, so I need something. I don't want the rope to get caught on something else, so I usually like to try and pack everything in a bag. However, there are the clips on the side that you just slip off. You can adjust them, but they are for the rope. You can put the rope over the top of them. But um, that is another method. I just don't do that because it'll if I don't put the rope in the bag I'll just lay it down on top somewhere else or put it in its own bag but um, yeah the waist straps are kind of pointless I mean yes they're good to have but they are kind of fixed right there so they do dig into your hip it's kind of 
and may just cut them off because they're kind of pointless, but there are those situations when you're hiking in, you may need them or you may want them. Uh, it does have the thing for the hydration. It has the, the connection for the hose. Um, it does have your clips and everything. I mean, it's, it's a very solid, sturdy backpack. The zippers are sturdy. You're never gonna, you won't have any issues. And it does have these straps here on the inside. So you can pick it up with that. I've used it to keep stuff from sliding around, just clip it to it or whatever you need to. But all in all, I mean, most of the time you can pack it up with, this is obviously trad and sport and aid and everything all included in one. But I mean, once you ditch one of those that you're not actually gonna do, you can fit the helmet, you can fit a lot more in there. So if you're between the big one and you're between the this 36, I would say for the money and for not overpacking yourself and always getting into a situation of having too much stuff, this you can fit just enough and still almost have too much stuff. So would highly recommend. Thanks.